hey guys so welcome back to my channel today we're just going to be doing this simple and easy look it took me about maybe 15 minutes to complete this look so yeah we're going to start off with wet and wild face primer from the new photo focus line and we're just going to apply it all over our face Next, I'm going to use the Baby Lips from Maybelline. I have to use this a lot, especially now that I'm living in Ohio and it's very cold. And in the wintertime, my lips get very, very chapped. I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes with the Glamouflage from Hard Candy. And this one is in light medium. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Desert Beige. I love this foundation. This is my new go-to foundation. I use this every single day. It has medium to full coverage. And just in case you guys are curious, the sponge I'm using is from Real Techniques. You can find that at your local Walmart or I believe CVS and Walgreens also carries it. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I love this powder. It gives me a nice um, bright underneath eye without it looking too yellow. For contouring, we're going to be using the MAC Riri Collection in Hibiscus Kiss. And I'm going to be applying this with a Sonia Kashuk brush. And for blush, I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Tulip Blush Duo, and I'll be applying this with an e.l.f. brush. To carve out my cheekbones, I'll be using the Hard Candy Loose Finishing Powder. For highlighters, I used two of the Wet n Wild highlighters. I used the Precious Petals and the Crown of My Canopy. And I'm using another uh, Sonia Kashuk brush. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the color medium and I just apply this all over my lid just to put a base on it. The first shadow that I'm going to be using is from the BH Cosmetics Jenna Rivera Palette and it's going to be the second color from the top row and I'm going to be applying this to my crease with a e.l.f. brush. The second eyeshadow that I'm going to be applying to my crease is from NYX and it's in the color Luxor and I'm going to be applying it with the same brush that I applied the other eyeshadow with. The next color that I'm going to be using is from MAC and it's called Starts and Rockets and I'm going to be applying it over the other two with the same brush.
And using a clean brush, I'm just smoothing out the edges and blending them out. Now we're going to go back into the same palette and we're going to be using the top purple color, the first color on the top left. And I'm just going to define more of the crease. From the Lorac palette, I'll be using the color white for my brow bone. Now I'll be cutting the crease with the same concealer that I was using before from NYX. And going back to the Lorac palette, I'm going to be using again the same white shade that I used for my brow bone. I'm going to be applying that all over my lid. Using the same MAC purple that I was using before, I'm going to be applying that to my lower lash line and blending it out. As a liner, I'll be using the Scandal Eyes in black. For mascara, I'll be using two mascaras. I'll be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and the Revlon Super Length. For my waterline, I'll be using the Scandalized Rommel London pencil in the color Nude. And I'll be putting on the Ardell Double Wispies. For the lips, I'll be using the Rimmel London 113 from the Kate collection. And on top of that, I'll be adding the NYX Butter Gloss and Vanilla Cream Pie. To set everything in place, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Don't forget to give my mom a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell so you guys can get notified every time I make a new video. Bye. Bye.